So let's go do everything separately. Um, tan of negative 12. Um, remember, we're going to look on our cast diagram. Now, negative 12 is not on the diagram because this diagram goes from 0 around to 360. So what we do is we add 360 degrees, because remember we are allowed to do that. Oh, what am I writing? Plus 360. And so that's going to give us the tan of 348. Now that's in this quadrant. So if you had to go do the whole reduction thing, you would eventually get tan 12. But tan is negative in that quadrant, so it's going to be negative tan 12. Okay, next one is cos 348. And so if you had to do reduction, that would be cos 12. And cos is positive in that quadrant, so it'll just be positive cos 12. This sin squared 10, we're not going to touch that because it's already less than 90. And sin squared of 80, we're also going to leave that alone because it's already less than 90. But this part here we can fix, so that's going to be sin squared of 321. So we just put the square on the outside for now. Don't have to worry about the square. And so 321, if you go, that's already in this quadrant. So if you go reduce that, it's going to give you sin of 39, but then negative because sin's negative in that quadrant. But then if we square a negative, it becomes positive. So that's going to be sin squared of 39. So sin squared of 39. And so now we can go rewrite everything as negative tan 12 times by cos 12 over sin squared of 10 plus sin squared of 80 and then minus 2 sin squared of 39. Okay, now typically what you want to do is tan you want to switch to sin over cos. But now some students get confused. They don't know if it must become negative sin and a negative cos. That's not correct because then these negatives would cancel, and then it's almost like you have a positive tan, so that doesn't make sense. So you just want to put the negative next to the sin, like that, and then we have this cos 12, and then at the bottom we've got sin squared of 10 plus sin squared of 80 minus 2 sin squared of 39. And so what happens now is that these cos 12s cancel out. And so at the top, we're just going to be left with negative sin 12. At the bottom, I'm just going to leave everything as it is for now. Right, now guys, what I identified next was that these two angles add up to 90. So there's probably a co-function going there or going on there. So what we do is we change one of them. Don't change both of them. You can pause the video and think about why that wouldn't really make sense. So I'm going to change this first one into cos 80. But because there's a square, it'll just become cos squared 80. Right? That is because sin 10 is the same as cos 80 because of cofunctions. And then this one I'm going to leave as it is. And then I'm going to end up with minus 2 sin squared of 39. Now remember in grade 11, when you have the sin squared plus the cos squared of the same angle, 80 and 80, that equals to 1, as long as those angles are the same. So it's 80 and 80. So that's just going to be equal to 1. So what we end up with is 1 minus 2 sin squared of 39. Let's go get our formulas. Now what I'm identifying is this part over here. See that? And so what we can do is we can rewrite it as cos 2x. And so that's going to be negative sin 12 at the top. And then at the bottom, we're going to end up with cos of 2 times 39, which is 78. Oh my goodness, guys, look at this. 12 plus 78 is 90. Co-functions. And so what you can do is you can change one of them. So I'm going to change the bottom one into sin of 12. Because cos 78 is the same as the sin of 12. And so what happens now is that these are going to cancel, and so we're left with a nice answer of negative 1.